What's happening today is a really big deal. Uh, we're trying to get the word out. It's, it's the run for independence, uh, symbolic of what we are and what we're all about. Uh, we're all about ability and celebrating that ability and uh, in, a, in, in this inclusive environment. We're having our second annual run. Um, it's an awareness run, uh, fundraiser. Hopefully in the future it'll be our signature event. Uh, we're having a, a one mile, a 5K, and a 10K race, which um, celebrates ability and inclusivity for people with disabilities. Independent so Association's mission is to provide um, services to adults and children who live in their chosen community. And uh, it's an inclusive uh, environment. Uh, my daughter has been receiving services for about 15 years. We're a nonprofit agency um, that's about going on 50 years old. And we work with individuals, children and adults, that have intellectual and cognitive disabilities. Um, anything ranging from mental retardation, autism, cerebral palsy. And uh, we provide services to probably about 400 individuals in the greater Brunswick, Bath, Topsom area. The profile of the, the, the runners today include people with disabilities and your, your families with children. Um, I just was extremely surprised to see that my daughter's whole family came to support her and participate in this race and it's just it's celebrating all these folks as well as the serious runners because it's a great course. I'm running because it's a great cause and it gets me out here to to get more running in. We have a myriad of people running in the race from people that are serious runners to people that like to walk and the race includes people with disabilities, without disabilities, and the race is set up so that the times that are starting are split times so that people with disabilities can actually start and finish with people that have abilities so it feels more like an inclusive event. To put together this race was a huge undertaking. We, we hired a, a, a new person to, uh, to be the race director marketing person uh, and to work with the, the Family Advisory Council as well as um, a whole bunch of volunteers. It takes a lot of support to do an event like this. We have about 75 volunteers today and it's taken us no less than six months to put the event on when we really should have been planning on it about a year ago. Um, and Brunswick is very good in that regard. They, they have always supported us and between the people that work in our agency, our parents, families, and the town, we've been able to get enough volunteers and raise almost $10,000 to underwrite the event. It's been heartwarming to see the businesses and uh, in this community come out and support us with only two months of planning. You know, usually they have to put this in the budget a year ahead and it's just been overwhelming the, the kind of uh, support, in-kind contributions as well as uh, sponsorship. It's very important for us to, um, to look for alternative funding sources because uh, as, as we're all reading in the news, there are cuts across the board and we are not excluded from this. And, and so therefore, to make up these, these cuts, we have to find alternative funding sources. And this race is just one of those uh, attempts at, at finding more revenue. We're a Medicaid funded facility, meaning we can't raise or lower the prices. We receive revenue based on whatever the state deems is affordable. Um, just to give you an idea, in July, of 2006, we were paid approximately $25 an hour to do services. In July of 2013, those same services were being uh, reimbursed at $21 an hour. And that's not including or adjusting for inflation, that's real, real dollars. Our agency is really, really big on, we focus on inclusivity, and I personally believe that there's nobody that is fully abled.
that we're all interdependent upon each other, and that when we have a race like this, it shows that the community comes together to support people with disabilities, people without disabilities, and that we can come together as a community. That's the number one mission of this race.